Whoa. Heard you wanted to start wheeling. This is the video for you. guys welcome back to the channel today is one of my first tutorial videos and as you guys can probably already guess it's on wheelies I've gotten a couple questions from some of you guys about if I can make one of these videos kind of helping show you guys first steps for wheelies getting better at them once you already know them and kind of getting close to perfecting them I would not necessarily say my wheelies are perfect but I think I've gotten pretty good at them um, so I'm gonna break that down into kind of three basic steps so pretty excited and let's do it. Sweet, so first step I like to call the squish and push. With the squish referring to your, uh, your fork and the preloading of your front suspension and the push referring to the rear and your pedals. Um, so I think a lot of people get caught up on the fact that uh, wheelies just bringing your front wheel up so all they try to do is just pull as hard as they can and hope that magically their front wheel is going to stay up but it definitely requires a lot more than that. Um, so this first step is more dedicated to getting your front wheel up. Um, so the squish refers to like I said just kind of preloading your front suspension and that just means you're going to push into it a little bit but um, as you're letting your suspension do its work that means that when you're coming back up you don't necessarily need to pull all the way back you can kind of just unweight your front and your fork should do its work and it'll kind of um, allow the front wheel to come up naturally that way. And naturally, if that's all you're doing, that doesn't mean that um, you're gonna get into a wheelie just by preloading. So that's where the pedal comes in too. Um, so as you're preloading your suspension, as soon as you let that go, that's when you're gonna take your first pedal, um, your first pedal stroke with your, um, with your pedals. You can choose to do it with every foot you want, but that means that you want to probably start with your pedal that you want to start with right about here. And then after you're done unweighting your front, you're going to push down with your pedal and that'll help bring the back underneath, if that makes sense. Um, and it'll, once it's a fluid motion, it'll bring the front wheel up really easily and it'll feel a lot more simple than trying to just muscle up your front wheel. Um, I kind of forgot to just mention this, but in terms of like what gear you want to be in as you're popping wheelies and trying to hold them and stuff, it really is, comes down to personal preference for me. I usually like to have it in about the fifth or sixth ring down from the top, um, just because I feel like that's not too heavy and it's not too light. Because um, I've heard people say, do it in the highest gear, do it in the lowest gear, but pretty much whatever feels good to you. And the same thing kind of goes for seat position. Usually I like to have mine about mm, a little a little under halfway up, but you know, it's all personal preference. So with that stuff, just do it however feels best to you guys, but those are kind of the ones that I usually do when I'm doing my videos. Breaking. <laughs> and I like to think that braking is probably the most important part of learning how to do a wheelie because this is the thing that's going to save your life as you're making sure that you're not looping out, falling straight onto your back, and jacking yourself up. So I'll show you guys in a second. I'll put the camera on my helmet so you guys can see how my finger works or how my hand is actually braking when I'm in the middle of doing a wheelie because. The brake isn't something that you pull every once in a while, it's like you're using it the entire time. And pretty often you're just barely even tapping it just to kind of bring your front wheel back down a little bit. Um, you've probably heard the term brake modulation a lot, and that's all that this is. So I'm gonna put the camera on my helmet 
and I will give you guys some quality footage of my finger pulling this brake so that you guys can see what I mean by barely tapping it and modulating. So we'll do that right now. All right, so now you guys are kind of on board with me as I'm gonna show you what it looks like more for my POV as I'm doing a wheelie. Um, and like I said, this is all about looking at the brakes. So just focus in on my right hand, which is the one pulling my rear brake and I'll kind of be talking about it a little bit too. So use the first step, like I said, to get your front wheel up and then notice how I am just kind of very, very, very gently pulling my back brake every once in a while to, um, in order to make sure that I'm not looping out and to just kind of help modulate to make sure that my front wheel is staying um, staying up in the air enough for me to be able to keep pedaling to keep up my wheelie and it's really never anything too big like if I pull too hard that's how you come straight down which is not necessarily a very fun feeling because it's a pretty it's a pretty big jolt but yeah just learning how to modulate your brake in the right way is probably one of the biggest forms of confidence when you're doing a wheelie just because that way if you ever feel like you're about to lose it you just kind of gently pull your brake and you can usually bring it back under control so that's kind of a quick overview of braking um like i said it's just one of those things that really 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 crucial for learning how to do um a wheelie the right way but it's one of those things that once you get good at it will literally make all the difference because it'll allow you to keep your front wheel higher as you're pedaling but not be nervous about looping out. So with that, we're gonna move right on to step three. All right, so we already made it through steps one and two, which were the squish and push with your suspension and your pedals, and two, learning kind of a little bit about the basics of modulating your brakes. Um, so step three, is kind of the one that ties all of that together to help you hold your wheelies for an extended period of time. And that's just learning how to balance your weight on your bike. Um, and your weight is kind of gonna have to be balanced in two directions. I'm gonna put my seat down just so I can more easily show you guys. But um, you're gonna need to kind of learn how to use your legs in a like sideways direction to make sure that your bike is staying straight. And you're gonna have to learn how to use your back is a way to shift your weight forward and backwards in order to use that weight to balance out your front wheel staying up, if that makes sense. Uh, so in terms of learning how to use your legs right, one of the most uh, effective things that I've done in order to get better at that is just practicing riding with no hands because that'll really train your legs to be the balance, uh, be the thing that'll kind of equalize your center of balance on your bike. And then just learning how to shift your weight forwards and backwards as you're in a wheelie is just kind of something you're just gonna have to naturally get better at. Um, and that's one reason why learning how to use your brakes right is a huge deal too, because leaning back is one of the most effective ways to keep your front wheel up. And if you know how to use your brakes right, then you can lean back almost as far as you want and you'll know that you're not gonna loop out. Um, so I'll kind of give you guys another bit, uh, another little bit of a perspective into me doing a wheelie and showing you guys how I use my legs and use my back and my upper body in order to make sure that I can keep my front wheel up and keep my body um, balanced on my bike. But that's just kind of the basics of it. And, uh, and that's one of the most important steps for me. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright guys, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Um, those were my top three tips in terms of learning how to wheelie. Um, number one being the squish and push. Number two being learning how to modulate your brakes. And number three being learning how to manage your weight through your legs and through your upper body. Um, just because I think all together those three tips help you a ton to either pop your first wheelie 
or to just really improve upon the ones that you've already been doing. Um, so yeah, so that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or just videos of me riding local trails, trails from farther away, all that good stuff. Um, if you've got any more questions, make sure to leave a comment. If you've got any suggestions for more tutorials like this, leave a comment. Uh, go follow my Instagram. I'll leave that in the bio as well. And yeah, hope this helped you guys out. Um, definitely a little bit of a switch up for this channel. So if you guys enjoyed it, yeah, make sure to tell me and I'll make some more of these um, based on what you guys want. So. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys later in the week.